Please stand by for an emergency warning. Important news and information will follow. Please stand by for an emergency warning. Important news and information will follow. Please stand by for an emergency warning. Important news and information will follow. Nuclear missiles from the United States have struck Australia. The following damage reports have been received. East Coast Australian cities have been catastrophically damaged. Sydney has been completely destroyed, out to a radius of 20 kilometres from the CBD. Reports of fallout have been received. Fallout is deadly and causes radiation sickness. Radiation sickness will cause death within several days. It is believed that clouds of fallout may drift over Tasmania in the next two hours. Persons who believe they have been exposed to the zombie virus are urged to report to Royal Hobart Hospital for treatment. There have been reports of avian zombies flying across the northern coast of Tasmania. Residents in the north of the state are advised to stay indoors. Keep windows and doors closed. We will continue to broadcast for as long as possible. Reports of assistance from Alice Springs are coming in. Authorities believe these reports are false. If you are receiving this broadcast on the Australian mainland, do not travel to Alice Springs. If you are in an uninfected area, stay where you are. Do not go outside. Reports of fallout have been received. Fallout is deadly and causes radiation sickness. Radiation sickness will cause death within several days. Reports of fallout have been received. Fallout is deadly and causes radiation sickness. Radiation sickness will cause death within several days. It is believed that clouds of fallout may drift over Tasmania in the next two hours. Australia Russian Federation United Kingdom China United States Global disaster map, major nuclear detonations marked by yellow triangles, high radiation and fallout zones marked by red circles. UN satellite resources confirmed as online and functioning, malfunction reported in 32% of relay modules, deterioration to end of life estimated at 12 days, highly infectious virus infected approx 5.2 billion people, 100% infection predicted. Multiple governments have launched nuclear and conventional weapons strikes against nations believed to be infected with the virus. Nuclear strikes have decimated major cities. Associated extreme damage reported due to building collapse, fire storms, high winds, radiation, nuclear fallout observed in progress. Survivor populations are currently unknown. Contact established with X4 governments. No confirmed contact with other government administrations. Multiple extreme weather patterns observed in progress globally. Atmospheric and climate change to nuclear winter state is predicted to occur globally in seven days. Areas of heavy fallout experiencing extreme drops in temperature. Major water disasters predicted. Multiple dam structures predicted to have been damaged by nuclear explosions. Dam failures predicted. Irradiated water predicted to contaminate flood zones. Stand by for urgent information. A survivor emergency warning will be broadcast. Please pay close attention. Your survival depends on this information. Multiple groups of human survivors have been located across Australia. These groups exist in fringe suburbs and rural centres. The CBD of every capital city in Australia has been destroyed except Hobart. Outer suburbs in each capital are heavily damaged. 
Several nuclear weapons have detonated in rural centres. Heavy levels of fallout have been recorded down the east coast of Australia between Brisbane and Wollongong. Zombie survivors have been located. Zombies are currently roaming after and fringe suburbs and rural areas. Stay vigilant, avoid all zombies and immediately report sightings to authorities where possible. Do not approach any zombie you see. The main types of zombies that have survived are Human zombie The human zombies are rapidly decreasing in number, however they remain dangerous. Small groups have been observed roaming throughout the suburbs and some rural areas. Most of these zombies appear to be dying out as fallout takes its toll, and the zombie virus burns itself out. However infection remains a high possibility, so avoid all interaction with a human zombie. Flying zombie Groups of flying zombies have survived by taking refuge in forests and rural areas. Flying zombies are extremely dangerous as they have heightened sense of sight. Flying zombies have been observed breeding. Contact infections from flying zombies are a certainty. Flying zombies must be destroyed immediately and from a distance using heavier weaponry such as high-powered rifles, grenade launchers and flamethrowers. If you are unarmed, seek shelter the moment you sight a flying zombie. Titan Stalker Zombie The most dangerous type of zombie. The Titan Stalker Zombie is extremely aggressive. Most Titan Stalkers have survived the nuclear bombing and have mutated due to fallout exposure. Titan Stalkers are super strong and possess acidic venom. They are extremely fast, have enhanced sensors and have armored skin. Any contact with a Stalker will result in immediate death. Stalkers can only be destroyed from a distance with heavy weaponry. Seek shelter immediately upon sighting a stalker. Report all sightings of zombies immediately to any available authorities. All survivors in metro areas are urged to relocate as soon as possible to regional communities. Relief centers will open in 48 hours to provide supplies and direct relocation of survivors. Be prepared to travel if you have survived in a metro area. Relocation is mandatory. Do not travel alone. Only travel in groups. Army and police patrols are active and will escort survivor groups. Any persons caught looting will be shot on sight. Criminal bands have been sighted operating in some areas. These groups will be liquidated when caught. There are now four hospitals open. Geelong, in Victoria, Port Macquarie and Wollongong in New South Wales, Townsville in Queensland. Stand by for further local information for each state. This is the BBC. Broadcasting from a secure location in the United Kingdom, London and several UK cities have been decimated by the combined effects of nuclear weapons and the Australian zombie virus. Damage is described as catastrophic in the outer areas of Cardiff, Birmingham, and Liverpool. Areas of the Midlands and the North have been unaffected by weaponry, but are grappling with fallout and the continuing damage caused by the zombie plague. A new zombie species has been identified as the hypergeant mutant zombie. It appears to be a gestalt creature, comprising several individuals who have become fused and integrated into a single organism. A hypergeant who fuses with a titan stalker is known as a decimator. Decimator zombies carry all characteristics of their gestalt, and as such are to be avoided at all costs. Decimator and hypergeant zombies are believed to be able to sense humans via body heat and electrical fields at a range of up to 300 meters. Any person in the vicinity of one of these mutants must immediately retreat, or move to the lowest level of a building and place as much shielding around themselves, so as not to be detected. Stand by for urgent information. A survivor emergency warning will be broadcast. Please pay close attention. Radiation density information will be broadcast. This is an emergency broadcast. A biohazard emergency remains in progress. A series of nuclear impacts have occurred in a number of locations across Australia. The following map details major impact locations. Radiation and fallout information. Major nuclear impacts have occurred in the following locations. All capital cities except Hobart. Also Richmond, Pierce, Salisbury, Darwin, Woomera, Alice Springs, Stirling, Bine Gap, Tidbimbula, Williamstown. Radiation and fallout are widespread across impact zones. Fallout is drifting in an easterly direction, and will continue to do so. 
Fallout down the east coast is extensive. A major drop in radiation has been recorded on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. However, fallout is expected to contaminate the area within 48 hours. Radiation and fallout will permanently contaminate large areas of Australia. There is catastrophic damage in Sydney, Brisbane, Canberra, Alice Springs and Melbourne. The United States' attempt to sterilize Australia has failed. Zombies remain a menace. Habitable non-contaminated land is minimal and exists on remote coastal fringes in Queensland, South Australia and Western Australia. Government functions are limited. The federal government retains limited resources, and will release further emergency supplies and funding when possible. State and local governments are heavily impacted. Police and emergency services no longer exist in metropolitan areas, and only remain operational in areas not affected by the emergency. Defense forces have been severely impacted, however remaining active personnel are being redeployed to assist with relief efforts. Any persons in your shelter that have died must be moved immediately. Do not allow these persons the opportunity to mutate into a zombie. Dig a shallow pit a safe distance from your shelter and incinerate a body. Any persons severely injured must be euthanized, and then incinerated. Medical facilities to treat these persons no longer exist. Incapacitated and disabled persons must remain in their location. Sadly, these persons will slow and cause difficulties for any groups evacuating. Evacuate these persons only if you have capacity to do so. If possible, leave two days of supplies with them, and report their location to authorities you encounter. These persons will be rescued at a later date. Local authorities in rural areas report continuing zombie sightings. Exercise extreme caution when outdoors. All plant and animal life is considered hostile. Reports of hybrid spider zombies have been received. The spider appears to be a crossbreed of redback and funnel web spider. The spiders appear to be around 3 meters in height, capable of limited flight, and are extremely aggressive. Avoid the spiders at all costs. There are concerns that various zombie species are crossbreeding and producing new zombie strains in an effort to survive. Various species of avian, aquatic and botanical zombies remain a threat. Subterranean zombies appear to have been eradicated. Information from Tasmania is limited. It appears that Hobart and Launceston have succumbed to the virus. Broadcast signals from the island have ceased. The fallout and radiation cloud from Melbourne has drifted over Tasmania and will cause radiation sickness followed by death to any person exposed. The government is aware of the emergence of militia groups. These groups are considered criminal, and in contravention of the Emergency Powers Act, all citizens are encouraged to report these groups to local authorities. Information from overseas is sporadic. Large parts of the Northern Hemisphere have been destroyed by nuclear exchanges. A number of emergency broadcast signals have been detected, but these are no guarantee of survivors existing. Satellite services are active and available in unaffected areas. The government will continue emergency survivor information broadcasts for as long as possible. The next broadcast will occur in four hours. This is an emergency broadcast. Attacks on government are increasing. Militia groups are attempting to overthrow government. Some defense and local governments have aligned themselves with militia groups. All citizens are advised not to cooperate with these groups. The ultimate sanction will apply for proven cooperation with these groups. The second wave of relief supplies will be released shortly. Report to your local relief center and await supplies. Zombie mutants continue to pose a threat. A number of species continue to crossbreed. Spider and avian zombies have mutated into a single species. This humanoid avian spider has been observed killing titan stalker zombies. As such, this subspecies is considered catastrophically dangerous. Do not enter any forested area. Plant and native fauna are believed to have mutated. Koala populations have turned feral. Koalas have mutated into drop bears. These creatures hide amongst trees dropping onto and viciously attacking passing victims. Their venomous claws and sharp teeth can kill very quickly. Emergency. Emergency. Emergency.
Emergency. This facility is under attack by militia groups. Emergency broadcasts may fail. Tune to radio. The pad has taken control. The government such as it was has fallen. The pad will organize and ensure the survival of all remaining Australians. Join the PATH to guarantee your safety and security. The PATH now controls major road routes. The PATH now controls relief centers. The PATH will build new communities. Join the PATH to begin life anew. in ruins. Aircraft are products of the former age. The fallout dorms rage around us. Emerge into the light. See the stairway to a new life. Come to where beauty remains. Where you are free to roam. Follow the path to a new life. Follow the path to dignity. Follow the path to a cure. Seek the path to freedom and prosperity. Seek the path to the cure and a long life. The path is open to you. Survivors of the apocalypse, we welcome you to join us on the path. The authorities no longer exist. Your gods have abandoned you. The web of life has been torn to shreds. However, there is hope. The PATH is a survivor collective. We exist in the United States, Australia and France. We are growing in many other locations as survivors join us. All members of the PATH pledge their lives, energy and intelligence to the collective. In return the PATH provides security, food, shelter, medicine, recreation, and a new life. We invite you to join us, pledge your life to the path and receive safety and security. The journey is hazardous, but the rewards are many. Two weeks from today, our ships will collect survivors from the following ports, Southampton, United Kingdom, Cozumel, Mexico, Wellington, New Zealand. Survivors in other areas, the path now controls major land routes. We will create new communities across the planet. The PATH will rebuild the world. Please join us. The PATH is open to you. サバイバル、防衛、成長、サバイバル、ディフェンス、アンドグロース。東京連合、東京コンファデラシー、サバイバル、防衛、成長、サバイバル、ディフェンス、アンドグロース。東京連合、東京コンファデラシー、サバイバ
security, responsibility, contribution and acceptance. All community members are encouraged to improve themselves as human beings. As you are a new member of our community, it is fair that you are made aware of the expectations we have of you. You must also be made aware of our community values and acceptable norms. The path commits itself to you in the following ways. We will feed you, clothe you, house you, employ you, and empower you. We will defend your life with ours. All lives here are precious. We happily accept your contributions and happily reward your efforts. We will strive to ensure your happiness and growth. You have survived, now it is time to thrive. We will listen to your concerns, understand and act on them where possible. We will seek ways to improve yours and all lives under our protection. The path has set the following community standards, taking from others only encourages others to take from you. You will be removed. Speak ill of people and people will speak ill of you. Your freedoms will be curtailed. Violent acts invite equal or greater violent acts from the law. You will be removed or executed. Gender and sexual identity are irrelevant. We are all equal. Discrimination results in discrimination. Children are inviolable. Sexual interference is not tolerated. You will be executed. No contribution, no community. You will be removed. Obey the rules. Be a contributor to our community and you will be loved and rewarded. Act in a criminal manner, engage in laziness or poor behavior, you will be tried and executed, or removed from the compound and left outside of the city to fend for yourself. The outer ring of city skyscrapers and buildings have been repurposed for the use of the community. They act as solar energy collectors, light reflectors, a defense system, and also as residential, trades and industrial areas. Solar panels have been scavenged from all over the United States and used to clad the various buildings in the compound. This not only provides a source of energy, but also acts a defense against zombie attacks. Buildings on the outside of the agricultural zones have been used to act as mirrors to reflect light onto the agricultural zones to assist in food production around the outer defense perimeter. Wreckage and debris has been used to block the spaces between streets and buildings to ensure a continuous wall around the compound. Several buildings have been adapted as defense stations and contain heavy weaponry. The Magno Loop is the primary defense system for the city. Buried underground, this extremely powerful weapon creates a specially charged magnetic field, which causes molecular disintegration of any life within the field. There is an inner loop and an outer loop. These are both buried under the outer agricultural zone. The outer loop hosts four substations which route power through the loop. The system is redundant, should any of the substations fail, a loop continues to operate, albeit at a lower power output. The loop is tested several times a year and you will be informed when a test is due. This usually coincides with the end of a crop harvest. There are two defense zones, the outer and inner defense zones. These consist of a solid wall ringing the city and agricultural zones. At equal lengths across each zone, tower weapon emplacements are located. These contain heavy weapons and defense force emplacements. Underground tunnels for rail, road and infrastructure have been reclaimed and adapted as underground support structures. New tunnels have been dug to complete lower floor plans and the spoil taken to the surface and used to create new topsoil for the agricultural zones. These tunnels are used to house the hydroponic farms, waste treatment and reclamation, and defensive positions. Below the tunnels is the underground refuge complex, consisting of several refuge zones. These refuge zones are your first destination in case of an emergency that threatens the safety of the compound. The refuge zones contain specially constructed and reinforced shelters which also contain enough provisions and air for 14 days. Below this are secondary shelter levels, a lower and final refuge zones as well as a lower facility zone which contains a ring of defenses. 
the lower zones have limited capacity, in the event of an emergency, division leaders will confirm which community members will be admitted to the lower and final refuge zones. The final refuge zone will only be used in the event of a catastrophic emergency. Should an emergency of this kind arise, all members will be issued with weaponry. Your division leader will advise you of your scheduled mandatory weapons training. Omega Compound is your new home. Welcome to our community. We hope that you will find joy in your life here with us. We thank you for choosing the path as your society. XMNV or cross-mutating necrosis virus is the virus which caused the global catastrophe some 20 years ago. The virus caused all living things in contact with it to mutate, cease life and reanimate as extremely aggressive beings intent on killing any humans or animals in their vicinity. There is no cure, no vaccine and no treatment for XMNV. All attempts to produce a cure and vaccine have failed. Every test subject succumbed to the XMNV virus and mutated. Each was then destroyed. XMNV has an infection and death rate of 100%. However only 80% of beings infected will reanimate. The virus is highly adaptive and regularly produces new species. All mutations are considered a mortal threat and must be destroyed. Remember the following steps to help ensure your survival against XMNV. Don't look. Don't touch. Don't linger. If it looks dead it probably isn't. XMNV mutants can play dead when seeking prey. They also have extremely fast autonomic responses and may attack you before you are able to react. Don't touch any XMNV mutant's body. This can pass the virus on to you. You will be infected and shortly begin to mutate. Don't stay near the body. Vermin and other XMNV mutants will be attracted to the body and will attack you. Bird swoop. Stalker swoop to kill. XMNV avian mutants have extremely sensitive sight and hearing. Should you see one flying, be aware that it has already spotted you, and will imminently attack. Seek solid shelter immediately and remove yourself from its vision. A stalker will swoop with great speed, and may discharge acid as it passes overhead. Stalkers will attempt several passes before clawing their prey to death and consuming them. Always travel in groups. Death comes when you're alone. Scientists have observed that XMNV mutants are far less likely to attack small groups of armed humans. It appears that they have adapted and will not risk defeat in such an encounter. XMNV mutants will attack any individual or couple. Traveling outside alone will invite an attack and may result in death. Do not travel alone, ever. Red eyes, red skin, red nails, red is dead. Any being you meet exhibiting these symptoms is infected and must be destroyed immediately. Even if it may be a close loved one, you must shoot first and more then later. Any infected persons must be destroyed immediately. Where possible, kill the loved one before they are able to transform into a mutant. Removing the infected saves the pure. Burn them. Burn them all. You can only trust ashes. Any XMNV mutants or viral victims must be destroyed and incinerated. Burning is the only way to destroy the virus. Burying, freezing or sinking bodies will only result in the mutant surviving to reanimate. Advise guards of the location of the body so a patrol may destroy it. Do not attempt to incinerate the mutant yourself. Mutants have been known to reanimate and attack while on fire. Your first visit to the forest will be your last. External work permits are granted on a limited basis. 
Any citizens straying outside the boundary of their work permit may find they are attacked by botanical XMNV mutants. Under no circumstances should any person enter any forested or wooded area. Forested areas are considered highly dangerous due to the high number of botanical XMNV mutants within. Forests have been observed as being used as a larder by XMNV mutants. Trees will secrete acids to assist in the breakdown of the captured bodies. Many species of plant in the forest will spontaneously attack fauna and humans. Remember, that when it comes to XMNV, your life is your responsibility. サイエンスダイレクトレイトインストラクション C アンシズディラクトラットインストラクション岡山基地に向かう突然変異復興チーム無誘担とリカブリーティームズオンルート2岡山ベースカテゴリー4突然変異体が捕獲され白い洪水ケージにおける高速と鎮静の下にあるキャタゴリー4無誘担とキャプチャードアンドアンダーレストレイントアンドセデーションインホワイトフラッドケージケージへの電源は交渉値ですパワーサプリーズ2ケージアーのみなる予備の電源装置を準備して準備を整えますバックアップパワーサプライインプレースレディ見積もりは2時間36分と推定されますリターンアスティメイティッド2アワーズ36ミニッツレセプションチームは到着の準備をしますレセプションチームズプリペアフォーアライバル安全な無菌捕獲ポッド重い補強グレード3レセプションポートオレンジに発送。シーキュース・テライル・キャプチャー・ポッド。ヘビー・リーン・フォースマント・グレイド・サン。ディスパトスト・トゥ・レセプション・ポート・オレンジ。重大なセキュリティチームは、現在、シャペロン突然変異回復チームを立ち上げています。ヘビー・セキュリティ・ティームズ・アーム・ボーキング・ナウ・トゥ・チャ・パロン・ムユータント・リカブリー・ティーム。鎮静状態のままでいる変異株。ムユータント・トゥ・リメイン・アンダー・セデーション。抽出チームは、遺伝物質と毒サンプルを取り出す。アクストラクションチームトゥーレトリーブジャネティックマテリアルベナムサンプルズ。妊娠している居住者の変異体をスキャンする。スキャンムユータントフォーエニージェステーショナルオクーパント。S。最も優先度の高いものとして取り除かれたもの。オクーパントトゥービーレモオブッドアズハイエストプリオリティ。必要ならば、突然変異体の破壊。ディストラクションオブムユータントソリーズドイフレクワイヤード This information broadcast is intended as an introduction to the Magno Loop system for path engineering groups. For further information, please consult your technical manual or contact your division leader. Know your Magno Loop. The Magno Loop is a high energy defense weapon which surrounds most path protectorate settlements. When activated, the loop will vaporize anything within its range. It will disperse all types of energy and matter. The loop is a ring which is buried underground, outside the perimeter of each settlement. The ground above it is commonly used as agricultural land. This means that no large structures must be allowed to sit above the loop and block its ability to function with maximum effect. However, testing has shown that rings of large buildings surrounding the loop can act to focus and enhance the loop's field. When activated, the ground above the loop either slides to either side of the loop, to allow the loop to rise up and be exposed, or the ground above the loop is vaporized when the loop is activated. Larger settlements and several major path cities contain up to four magno loops dispersed evenly outwards from the inner shelter. The loops are always activated in the order of the outer loops first, then progressing to the inner loop. All citizens will retreat to shelter within the loop, below the surface, in reinforced underground shelters. These shelters are designed to withstand the extreme forces unleashed when the magno loop is activated. The loop causes major shock waves, acoustic disturbances, plasma events, extreme storms, and seismic activity. Firing the loop can negatively affect the upper atmosphere. This can cause an atmospheric shock wave, which may cause similar storms in the Antipodean location. The loop has seven dispersal modes. These are wide dispersal, 
vertical shock wave pulse, horizontal shock wave pulse, triangulation, track, target and destroy, force field dome, force field ring, complete destruction, wide dispersal, the loop creates a 120 degree arc, and fires a continuous and evenly distributed burst of energy within this arc. This is suitable for defense against a number of aerial attackers. Vertical Shock Wave Pulse The loop creates a vertical pulse ring, fired in groups of three bursts, every quarter of a second, suitable for use as a defense against approaching ground and aerial forces. Horizontal Shock Wave Pulse the loop sends a shockwave pulse along the ground outside the loop. This causes extreme tectonic stress and acts as a force 9.5 quake. This will result in the complete destruction of any structures and living things within a 200 km radius, with catastrophic damage up to a radius of 1000 km. Triangulation, Track, Target and Destroy the loop forms a pyramid of energy which at its apex produces a concentrated beam, which can be directed at an approaching airborne target. This is very well suited to sweeping attacks against missiles, fighters, bomber craft and heavy avian zombie mutants. Force Field Dome The loop creates a dome of energy. The energy is evenly dispersed across the dome and vaporizes any matter which comes into contact. Excellent when used in a variety of defense situations, including long-range projectile attacks, severe atmospheric events, and avian zombie swarms. Force Field Ring The loop creates a ring of energy which acts as a wall. This ring can be expanded or contracted. It forms a cone shape as it does so, suitable for wide dispersal of avian attacks. Complete Destruction this is a mode of last resort and is the Magno Loop self-destruct function. This mode must only be used when there is no hope of the survival of humanity. The loop cycles through each of its modes as it powers up to creating a sphere of energy, vaporizing everything around it within a 25 km radius. The loop will then detonate as it reaches critical mass, forming an internal feedback loop which will cause a catastrophic explosion. This explosion may cause complete destruction within a 100 km sphere, and as such would penetrate through the Earth's crust and reveal the upper mantle, possibly causing a global catastrophe. As such, this mode can only be activated by the use of six authorization keys in the correct sequence. The loop is powered by a variety of sources, depending on the location of the loop. The source of power does not affect the output power of the loop. As the loop cycles up to full power, it enters into a state of self-sustaining, self-accelerating power generation. Main controls of the loop are simple and designed to be used in times of extreme stress and rapid action. The controls are, activate prime sequence, this begins the power up sequence and primes the loop for entering a dispersal mode. Power up countdown begins and voice announces when loop is ready for dispersal. Close loop sequence, this activates the power down process and ceases the current dispersal mode. Emergency stop, bypasses the close loop sequence, immediately ceasing power to the loop. To be used in extreme circumstances only due to high radiation after effects. Dispersal mode selector, easy switch between dispersal modes with a press of A button. Complete destruction mode, 6 key lock activation. Press the button to open the key cage. All six keys must then be inserted and turned in color sequence. As each key is turned, the next sequence of the self-destruction process is activated. The turning of the final key activates the explosion which causes the destruction of the loop. Again, all engineers must understand that complete destruction mode must only be used under the most extreme of circumstances, where there is no other option. The Magno Loop is our ultimate defense. Your role in its maintenance and operation is a valued contribution to our community. Thank you.
Tokyo Confederacy, Intelligence Report Contents, Open for Distribution. The Tokyo Confederacy have emerged as a threat to the path. The Confederacy now controls former countries across Asia and South America. It is known that Tokyo itself is uninhabitable and the Confederacy is based in the southern city of Akayama. The Confederacy faced fierce resistance when it first assumed control of China. The resistance was brutally suppressed by former members of the Communist Party, seeking favor with the Confederacy. The Tokyo Confederacy specializes in technological solutions to real-world situations. They possess considerable scientific resources and are known to deploy prototype solutions in situations where said prototypes may constitute a considerable danger. It is rumored that the science corps are experimenting on zombie mutants. The Tokyo Confederacy, like the PATH, does not have a single leader, instead it uses a committee system with three chairpersons as its figureheads, each chairperson represents and has control over a number of confederacy territories, as well as being responsible for various industries and government functions. The confederacy's population appeared to have settled in areas outside of the former major cities, anti-mutant defenses are in place in most cities. Small and medium-sized towns have emptied and residents relocated to the new population centers. The area around Beijing has been heavily impacted by mutant zombie activity. A considerable number of Titan stalkers have survived the nuclear onslaught and have crossbred with local animals. The resulting varieties of mutants and gestalt zombies are truly horrific. Any attempt to annex Tokyo Confederacy territories must be considered as an extremely dangerous proposition, one only to be undertaken at a time when the PATH possesses the ability to overwhelm Confederacy forces with superior force and manpower. Agents have been directed to seek further information about scientific activity within the Tokyo Confederacy. The speculated information regarding experimentation on mutants is deemed worthy of follow-up and has top priority. Report ends. Stand by for a broadcast from the path. Information vital to your safety will be broadcast. Stand by for a broadcast from the path. Information vital to your safety will be broadcast. <coughs> Members of the path, Alpha Australian Protectorate, a swarm of zombie mutants has been observed approaching compounds 4 and 6 from the southeast. Resident members in these compounds are advised to move to the underground shelter system immediately. Reinforcements are airborne and expected to arrive within two hours. Swarm arrival is estimated at 45 minutes. Therefore all non-defense members must move to the secure underground shelter system. Follow the instructions of your division leader and move at a swift but calm pace. You are protected by the path. We will keep you safe. Shelter doors will close an estimated 10 minutes before initial contact. Defense members are requested to move to combat stations immediately. Defense procedures are in immediate effect. Raise and electrify all security screens. Prepare to charge the Magno Loop. A number of airborne zombie mutants have been sighted and are being engaged by sentry drones. Residents in compounds 1, 2, 3, 5 and 7 are required to prepare defensive positions and to move to Amber Alert. <coughs> Members of the PATH, Beta Australian Protectorate, information has been obtained suggesting that the Commonwealth forces in Capricornia will mount an attack on our community. This attack is expected to begin within 48 hours. All defense members are placed on Red Alert as of now. Defense members are requested to move to combat positions immediately. Defense procedures will begin immediately. All resident members of Beta Protectorate are requested to move to the safety of the central compound immediately. Compound access will be restricted in 30 minutes. Move to safety now. 
Resident members are reminded that purification procedures remain in effect, botanical zombie spores regularly lodge in clothing and footwear, and can prove fatal to the entire community via exposure. Ensure you complete the full purification procedure when entering the central compound. Replacement clothing and footwear will be provided to any resident members not wearing reusable protective garments. A variety of mutant zombie species remain a threat to the population. Stay alert, stay armed, stay prepared, stay alive. <coughs> members of the PATH, Alpha and Beta Europa Protectorates, weather conditions are expected to worsen over the coming days. Catastrophic snowstorms are expected to arrive within 72 hours. Resident members are advised to complete harvest as soon as possible. 24 hours rotating service has been authorized. Your division leader will inform you of your obligations to the path during this time. Once your service is complete, please move to your assigned shelter. Provisions, secure weaponry and entertainment are all contained within shelters. All harvested goods are to be moved to local underground storage. Transport to central processing will occur at the end of the storm. Your participation and efforts are appreciated by the entire community. You are helping to ensure the survival of the human species in the Northern Hemisphere. <coughs> Members of the PATH, Omega American Protectorate, Outer Defense Zones have been breached by a catastrophic zombie swarm. Up to 12 Titan Stalker zombies have been identified in the outer defense zones. Resident members are advised that the emergency is now considered as a mortal threat. Please relocate to the lower secure inner shelters now. Your division leader will guide you to your assigned pod within the secure shelters. Each pod will hold six resident members. Please be prepared to share your pod with other community members. Provisions for up to 14 days have been supplied in each pod. Each pod contains its own independent air supply and is heavily reinforced. Defense members are to move to combat positions above the shelter complex. Defense members are to ensure the survival of resident members and facilities. All defense and resident members are advised to prepare for self-destruction of the outer defense zones. The Magno Loop will be activated at full strength to ensure vaporization of the area above the inner and outer loops. Injuries may occur in underground defense zones due to shockwave activity. Prepare now for numerous magnetic shockwaves. Plasma bursts may occur in the atmosphere causing severe thunderstorm activity with heavy lightning strikes and thunderclaps. Once this broadcast ceases, all non-protected electronics must be disabled for your protection. The PAT thanks you for your bravery and sacrifice. You will not be forgotten, you will be revered.
注意、注意、注意、緊急時の警告、花東、ソウル、ピョンヤン、北京、香港、非常に破壊的なライティングが報告されました。今すぐ逃げよう。指示されない限り放置しないでください。Attention, attention, 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 emergency warning, severe atmospheric disturbances over, Kyoto, Seoul, Pyongyang, Beijing, Hong Kong, extremely destructive lightning strikes reported, move to shelter now. Do not leave until instructed. 注意、注意、注意、注意。ピサンサテキョンゴ、チュンデアゴシマンテドシエ、キョト、ソウル、ピョンヤ、ベイジン、ホンコン、クタンジョグロ、パゲジョギン、チョミョンイボボデミダ、チグン、タンジャンシロガジャ、チシャイテカジ、キダリジマシプシア。注意、注意、注意、注意。緊急警告。严重的大气干扰。京都、首尔、平壤。北京、香港，报告了非常严重的破坏性闪电罢工。现在转向庇护，不要离开，直到叫到。You have requested to open a classified security document. To do so, please complete the following. Please enter your security password. Thank you. Please enter your cabineted end number. Thank you. Please look into the camera. Don't blink. Do not blink until you are told to do so. Retinal scan complete. Facial scan complete. Vessel structure scan complete. Body chemical scan complete. You may now blink and remove your eyes from the camera. Thank you for your cooperation. Identification confirmation will occur shortly. Do not remove your feet from the footpads. The floor outside of the footpads is electrified and will deliver a fatal charge if stepped on. Electrification of the floor will cease once your identity has been confirmed. Identification confirmation. Thank you. Recon and analysis report. Security rating classified. Intended for president size only. Offensive against path compound has failed. CUT force is impacted by combination of XMMV mutants and heavy defensive fire from path defenses. Severe losses incurred and CUT forces in retreat. Path forces have overrun and captured remaining CUT forces. Taking them prisoner. Commonwealth base on standby as path forces approach. Likely path will take Commonwealth base. Recommend self destruction of base. The XMMV mutant assault on the North American Path HQ continues. Our operatives advise that evacuations are complete and the upper city has been abandoned. The Magno Loop has been fired. No further information is available as communications with operatives have been cut. It is speculated that the path compound may have extensive damage. Satellite imagery will confirm shortly. Recommend continued surveillance of situation. This may represent an opportunity to gain path territory, assets, and human stock. XMMV mutant migrations are in progress. There are currently 15 distinct swarms. Swarms appear to consist of several distinct species of XMMV mutant. Notably, there are no botanical XMNV mutants present. This may be due to their inability to move at speed over long distances. Swarm movement indicates they will encounter CUT bases in the UK, Russia, Canada, and China. Swarm individuals number 2 million plus. Catastrophic damage is projected to CUT bases unless intervention is undertaken. Recommend defensive measures be enacted immediately. New species of XMMV mutant have been observed. Mother gestator XMMV mutants are slow moving and slug like in appearance with a long slender neck and a hardened carapace. Its tail carapace is heavy and appears specifically to protect its womb. Its face is typically that of the originally infected being, be it human or animal. It ranges in size from approximately 15 meters to 75 meters long. The mutant stands between 12 and 55 meters in height. The gestator delivers anywhere from 15 to 60 mutant babies at any one time. 
The delivery consists of the mutant babies consuming their mother while she is still alive and exiting the corpse via the mouth. The babies quickly mature and will attack beings around them using a combination of acidic venom and high-frequency screams. Operatives report that the Path have developed a possible vaccine, or possibly a cure for XMNV. This substance has reportedly been tested by aerial dispersal, at a nearby swarm point. XMNV mutants reported regressed back to their original states. A large number died however it is believed there were a significant group of survivors. This substance is currently only known to exist at a single location within the African Protectorate. Therefore it is imperative that the exact location of the substance be ascertained. Retrieval of substance is recommended. Report ends. Intelligence report contents. Close distribution amongst leadership only. Intelligence report contents. Close distribution amongst leadership only. PAT agents within the CUT Military Science Corps have discovered that mutants are being farmed for their acidic venom secretions. The venom is being refined and tested in a range of new weaponry. Amongst this weaponry are a number of new long-range ballistic missiles. These carry warheads using the venom secretions as biochemical warheads. This weaponry is considered acutely dangerous and must be neutralized. Our agents within the Tokyo Confederacy report that their scientific division have been engaged in an aggressive selective breeding program of zombie mutants. This program is intended to produce a super mutant soldier capable of broaching path defenses and inflicting maximum damage. So far, only a small number of soldiers have been produced. All mutants have followed their instinct and attacked their human creators as soon as they have been released from bondage. This has then resulted in their subsequent recapture and destruction behavioral control has been achieved for short periods in two cases. Research continues. The president of the CUT, and the triumvirate of the Tokyo Confederacy, met secretly in Okayama last week. No news of this meeting has been made public. The leadership of both parties have agreed to a non-aggression pact and cooperation amongst their military and scientific divisions. Since this meeting, movement of forces along borders around PATH territories has been observed. This merger of the clans represents an unprecedented threat to survival of the PATH. It is recommended that development of the cure is accelerated along with the immediate increase of defenses at all PATH colonies. We must be prepared for an attack by a combined human and mutant force. This attack is anticipated to be devastating and will require the deployment of Magno Loops Loop at all major locations. Extra underground shelter facilities for civilian members will also be required. It is recommended that emergency evacuation procedures are activated within 48 hours to allow maximum time to ensure the safety of our populace. We must expect that the CUT may launch ground and air missile strikes any time within the near future, within the next four weeks. Launch sequence active. Americas, Africa, Oceania. Launch is in progress. 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 Atmospheric detonations in progress over targets, awaiting dispersal confirmation. Dispersal in progress. Dispersal in progress. Dispersal in progress. Atmospheric discharges. Lightning storms active. Destructive bolt 7 kilowatts. Dispersal confirmation. Please stand by for a broadcast from the path. Please stand by for a broadcast from the path. Information for citizens of the Commonwealth of United Territories. 
the path possesses the cure. We will end the XMMV virus. The cure will be dispersed in the atmosphere. Please stay inside for the next 24 hours. Exposure to the cure is fatal to non-infected persons. We wish you no harm. Only freedom from XMMV stay inside and do not breathe outside air. Infected persons will revert to normal. Heavily injured infected may not survive. Members of Gestalt zombies may not survive. Animal mutants may remain dangerous. Do not assume all zombies will be cured. Remain vigilant. We give you the cure as a gift of friendship. The human species must survive. Sky Striker missiles will launch shortly. We wish you a happy and healthy life. Detection alert! Detection alert! Citizens of Ken's compound and local area. Multiple path missiles detected incoming. Seek shelter immediately. Likely missiles contain chemical weapon warheads. Large scale damage possible from explosions. Move indoors now. Stay inside for at least 24 hours. Do not go out. Ensure you have provisions for 3 days. Prepare for atmospheric detonations. Move to shelter now. Impacts are imminent. Emergency warning. Missiles inbound. Emergency warning. Missiles inbound. Emergency warning. Detonation. Detonation. Extreme situation warning. ボーエ軍隊が現在配置され攻撃を撃退しているディフェストループスアナウインプレースワンドラペリングアタックス住民は今すぐ緊急バンカーに移転しなければならないレジダントシティサンズマストレロカット 2レッスル自衛しないでください。バンカーズウィルクローズワンとアラックトリファイン4ミニッツ。トノップギレイ。あなたの安全と人生は危険にさらされています。要はセーフティーアンドライフラインデンジャー。エマージェンシー。エマージ
Satellite debris cascade is disrupting CUT satellite attack systems. Magno loops will be set to wide dispersion mode. Ensure you are in underground shelter now. Ground attacks are taking place against the path in Africa and Asia. CUT and Tokyo Confederacy forces have combined. Magno loops in these locations will fire when enemy attackers are within maximum dispersal range. Ensure you are in an underground shelter now. 極端な状況の警告機エクストリームシチュエーションウォーニング化学弾頭ミサイル着陸ケミカルオーハットミサイルズインバウンド CUD 裏切り者核ミサイルのインバウンド CUD トライターニュークリアミサイルズインバウンド増強されたデシメータヘニータイバ CUD 延期オグマンティッドデシメータミュータンツハブビーンリリーストアラウンド CUD ベイシズ私たちは不名誉にされました獲得する勝利はありません。We have been this o n o r e d h e r e is no victory to gain. ライブ爆発シーケンスが現在有効になっており、カウントダウンはすべての連邦軍、研究、政府の建物で行われています。インターナルダトネーションシークワンシズワーナウアクティブアンドカウントダウンイズラニングアットオールコンファダラシーミリタリーリサーチアンドガバメントビルディングズ氏は敗北よりも良いデスジルターサンデハーチャリングセフクは名誉ですサピュークイズホノラブルエマージェンシーパースケミカルウォーヘッドバーストインプログレス CUT ミサイルズアロンインバウンプロジェクトリーズトパースベーシーズエマージェンシー Missile launches from Tokyo Confederacy locations have been protected. These missiles are believed to be inbound toward CUT territories. We have been betrayed. Countermeasures are authorized. Military satellites will begin orbital attacks on Confederacy capital Okayama. CUT agents are authorized to activate XMNV dispersal pods across Confederacy territories. CUT forces bordering Confederacy territories are authorized to launch short range XMNV Venom warheads into Confederacy populations. There is no hope. Our communities are being destroyed. The Earth must be returned to the heavens. Total destruction mode is authorized. Magno loop activation in 1. Magno loop firing. Atmospheric detonations in progress. Magno loop firing. Nuclear detonations in progress. Total destruction mode engaged. Total destruction mode engaged. Total destruction mode engaged. The paths are destroying the planet. Massive holes exposing the mantle have opened over path bases. Global seismic shockwaves in effect. Magnetic poles in plants. Magnetic reversal in progress. 